Today at the Vincent Electric Lining Laboratory, we're going to see in details the complete troubleshooting process on double tube preheat fluorescent fixture. If it thinks to only be a burnt out tube at first, we'll actually need to go further in the process. Tubes, starters, and ballasts. That is the subject of this episode of the Vincent Electric Lining Laboratory. Fluorescent tubes have been created almost a century ago. However, the fluorescent tube we know today, technically called a hot cathode tube, has been developed in the mid-30s and introduced in North America in 1938. Early fluorescent fixtures use a starter to electrically preheat the cathodes before opening, which generates a high-voltage inductive kick that starts the tube. The circuit, known as the preheat circuit, is still in use today in numerous applications especially on 20 watts and smaller tubes. Burnt held tubes on a preheat circuit will either blink endlessly or eventually completely stop working. Leaving a burnt held tube in a fixture may also lead to fail of other parts. That is what we're going to see. You can see here that one tube is completely out. Let's see what's wrong. The first thing to do is to try relamping. To do it, we will remove the whole tube by turning it in one way or the other. It doesn't matter. Depending on the lamp holders, you may have to turn the tube a complete quarter of a turn or barely turn it 20 degrees. Then, pull the tube. Once removed, install a non-working tube the same way, but, but with reverse steps. Push it in place, then turn it so the notch on the hand cap is aligned with the center of the lamp holder. Hmm, looks like the tube was not the only defective part. Then, we'll need to remove the cover in order to access the starters and ballasts, both of which could be defective. After the tubes have been removed, remove the cover. Many cover designs exist. On my fixture, I need to pinch the cover to unlock it. So, now we see the ballasts, the starters, and the lamp holders. As I don't know which starter goes to which ballast and which lamp, I need to turn back the power, remove one starter, and install the tube. Okay, the starter on the white socket preheats the good lamp. That means the other starter could be defective. I will use a Cooper FS2 starter as a replacement. I will now install the lamp to see if everything works. Sweet. There it is, it lights up. It means the starter was also defective for some reason. Now that my fluorescent fixture is back in business, I can assemble it back. That part isn't very hard. If you figured out how to remove the different parts of your fixture, you should be able to install them back with no problem. In the case replacing the starter wouldn't have worked, it can be either a lamp holder or the ballast. Because these parts are not specific to preheat fluorescent tubes, we will see how to replace them in the next episode. In our next video, we continue with rapid start fluorescent fixtures.